Good day friends. Today we shall be working on drawing a sketch map to show relief regions. What is a relief region? A relief region is simply areas or a simply a region having different physiographic entities in any given study area. Or in other words, a relief region can simply be defined as a broad region having the same physical appearance. So relief regions show the same kind of relief, which could either be a highland, a plateau, a ridge, or an extensive lowland. So how do we draw a sketch map to show the relief region of an area? Or what, are, what, what will be our materials that we are going to be using in these tutorials? We are going to be using a paper, a piece of paper, which can be, which here is representing your writing material in case you are about to write an exam. We are also going to use a pencil, an HB pencil for that matter, which for today we are going to replace it here with a black pen so much so that it can be well printed for clear review since we are working with a digital video. We are also going to use a ruler to draw a frame, an appropriate frame, where our relief regions shall be uh, uh, drawn into. Okay. Again, under these tutorials, we will be trying to identify and describe the relief regions of topographical maps following certain procedures. What are the procedures that we are supposed to follow when drawing uh, or when describing a relief region with the use of a, a sketch map? The first thing we need to take into consideration is to study the nature of the contours and determine from them the highland areas and the lowland, the lowlands areas. Generally, contours will be very close together where there is a highland and space out where there is a lowland. On colored maps, the brownish areas where contours are increasing in values are certainly the high, the high, the highlands, while the, white, the whitish areas, or better still, those areas which are clearer, like we find here, the areas which are clearer, like on this map, are mostly re representing the lowland or lowland areas. Therefore, such areas which are very brown on a colored map will represent highland regions, while the areas which are relatively clearer or whitish in color are simply the lowland areas. And so we are going to trace a boundary between uh, the lowland and the highland along the lowest contour of the highland. Therefore, we are going to identify from the highland region, as we have said, areas where contours are very close to each other, like here, will represent a highland region, and therefore we're going to identify the lowest contour, the lowest contour value, which should be this contour. We're going to identify its value here. The contour value is 200, 200 meters. So remember, contours are given in meters, and from there, we also discovered that the contours are very close to each other as we move west, as we move toward the west. Away from the west and moving toward the east, we discovered that the contours are relatively spaced out from each other, and in some cases, we relatively have little or no contours at all, which means that uh, the west part is made, is made of highland, while a greater proportion of the map is covered by a lowland. So when we draw the upper frame and carry out that, that boundary, we draw a boundary between the lowland and the highland, we are going to shed the highland areas differently from the lowland areas. After shedding, we are also going to, on the sketch map, write down the names of the regions. For instance, we can talk about the western highlands, as it's found in the west, and we can also talk about the eastern lowlands found toward the, the east. After which, we are also going to give a title 
to a drawn diagram since we have been asked to sketch a map showing the relief of this region we are simply going to give a title as a sketch map extract of the relief of Moyoka and, in, and environs the sketch map extract of the relief of Moyoka and environs since we are dealing here with the map of of Moyoka in Cameroon and thereafter we are going to provide a key for the sketch map the key should show the highland and the lowland meaning that the key is simply going to show to us what we have been represented or what we have sketched on our on our uh, 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 reduce i'm sorry on a drum map so let's move right away to draw an appropriate frame an appropriate frame here does not mean we are going to draw all of this size we are simply going to do something that looks a replica of this for instance we discover here that this should be the length so sorry yeah this should be the, the length why this the horizontal side should be the length good why the vertical side is the width so drawing drawing my my cross my my, my uh, relief diagram i'm going to do something so much so that the length is longer than the width remember it should be neat you can still do this with a pen even but the pencil is, uh, is preferable since you can easily erase in case of any problem So already I have my frame already drawn. The next thing I'm going to do is to identify the area where we have the, the lowest contour value where the, the, the highland falls. Therefore, our contour 200. I'm simply going to draw a boundary to delimit the highland region from the lowland region. Okay, if you look at it, this is the limit and this is the representation. So simply, I'm going to now shed also the highland region geographically remember that this is land and must be shaded So I said write the name at once so in case of shedding I don't pass through it. Normally we're supposed to write here the Western Highlands. Western Highland. This way at the eastern. The reason why I have to write, my, write the names of my regions before shedding is very important. I will clean it up. the title
like the sketch map of the relief characteristics of Moyoka. And uh, environments. It is good. I also place pattern duration to show the duration of my diagram. Geographic is always correct to do so. Point to the north. And lastly, what I need now is the key or legend. Remember that without this, makes it difficult for the examiner to understand what is drawn on the map. Remember, legend I'm simply going to represent on the boxes with appropriate sizes, at least one centimeters each. Mistake the man. Continue. Next box. The reason why we have to use a pencil, in case there's an error, we have to erase it out. I'm not making mistakes. Region. And if you wish, you can put a boundary. We talk about a regional boundary. Regional or tower relief boundaries. Relief boundary. And then that's that will be good. So after this, it's always good to place all geographical diagrams in a frame and make sure your diagram is centralized and not just hanging on one side of the frame. Let's take this opportunity to draw a line on my title. So that's uh, that's the that's sketch map showing the relief, the general relief characteristics of Moyoka and its environment. So remember, on the original map we have we have the scale of the map, one is fifty thousand. When you draw a sketch diagram of a relief, you do not put a scale, you don't put any scale, you don't put any grid references. They are you just align it as 